What is knowledge translation? This is the question I get when I try to explain what I do. It's almost as bad as that time I was an occupational therapist and people asked me how I could find other people jobs when the job market was so terrible. My friends ask me why I choose careers that few people know about, that few people understand, and I answer them like this. Because these are the jobs that challenge me. Because just because they may be hard to define and hard to get by in doesn't mean I'm not going to try them. Because even if knowledge translation means I will have to chase scientists down until I feel cracks in my knees and my patella starts to bleed before I finally get a reply to my email, I am still getting answers. My friends don't understand this response and so I explain what I do like this. I am the intermediary, the person who's standing in the valley looking up at two tall cliffs, the scientists on the left, the clinicians and policy makers on the right. They have things they need to tell each other, but they talk amongst themselves and so the space and the gap between the cliffs takes 17 years to cross. <coughs> up in the sky there's a hawk that gawks at and mocks us all because from his view this gap is so small, if only we could all see the whole picture. Stop your chirping philosophical bird. You don't live on this land. There are pressures down here. There are things to understand. He says, like what? And so I explain it to him like this. People are very busy. Grant applications don't write themselves and patients cannot be put on a shelf. People are doing their jobs. Okay, look. Imagine you've been flying the same way your entire life. Then someone says it's best to take a left turn. How soon would you take that advice? First you need to hear it, then you need to try, then it will take a few more times before there's improvement in flight. There may not be anyone by your side, you may not have anyone as your guide, and all of this will take time. Okay, he says, so if all that is true, then what is the point of you? Like, what exactly do you do? Well. Look at the cliff to the left. You see those articles that scientists write for each other? I capture the good ones and strip them of jargon. Then I turn to the right and I fling them at targets. Meanwhile, my eyes are scanning the cliffs from the bank where I stand, searching for those on the left who look to the right and those on the right who look to the left, the ones at the very edge. I throw up ropes in hopes they will scale down these slopes and we'll talk on the same piece of land. And let's say this research was about you, I'd bring you down here and you'd have a say too. I don't pretend that I know it all some days. <sighs> I feel like I'm starting at square one, but I'm not doing this alone. This job was given to me by someone. There are scientists who get it. Clinicians are looking for good tools. I was recruited to help, but I can't do it without all of you.